Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to add a multi-select attribute. That's right. Now let's jump straight across to Magento and we'll catch up there with you in a few moments time. So Dave, we've come across to our administration area of Magento and there's a couple of steps which we need to make. So let's just quickly cover those. The first thing which we need to do is add the attribute and our multi-select values. And for this example, we're gonna be choosing rooms. So we're gonna be adding, you may have a product which suits a kitchen, a bathroom, a living room, maybe a bedroom too. That's the example which we're gonna use, but of course you can use these for any attribute where you would want to select one or more options from a drop-down list. So Matt, what happens if I only actually want to choose one attribute to appear in a list? If it's just one, and if it's only ever gonna be one attribute, such as brand, for example, or material, is that you wouldn't want a multi-select attribute. Instead, you would want a drop-down attribute instead. So I'm sure you've seen those drop-down boxes where you can only make one selection in there, and that's called a drop-down attribute. And of course, we have a separate tutorial to show you how to add these to Magento over on our YouTube channel or over at understandinge.com. But in this tutorial, we're gonna be doing multi-select and the example which we're gonna use is the rooms. So you may have a product and again, we're gonna be using a bag, which is completely irrelevant, but just for proof of concept, you can may have that bag available for the kitchen, for the bathroom and the living room, for example. Now, coming back onto the steps which we need to make, we need to add the attribute and the potential values. We then need to add that attribute to an attribute set. Then we are going to add it to a product and see those options come out on our Magento website. And of course, if you've got any caching going on on your Magento website or you need to re-index your website, we'll show you how to do that as well. So Dave, that's the theory. Let's go and do this. Really simple to do. So coming across to our Magento admin area, and of course, follow us along in your system. If you go to catalog, attributes, and then manage attributes, and to add a new attribute to your Magento system, click on add new attribute in the top right hand corner. And the first field which we need to fill out is the attribute code. So I'm gonna type in ATT underscore room. Now you may be wondering, why I've been and added ATT underscore at the beginning. And that's really straightforward. Is because when you get around to importing and exporting products from Magento, maybe use Magento Dataflow or Magme to import tens or thousands or hundreds of thousands of products into Magento, is that any attribute which is prefixed with ATT underscore will stand out a mile because you then know that that's an attribute which you created Whereas maybe an attribute like manufacturer or color, which is like one of the system attributes of Magento, you can tell these attributes apart. Oh, I made that one, or Magento made that one. Just makes it a little bit easier longer term. Now the setting, which is one of like the most important setting in here is the catalog input type for store owner. If you drop this box down and then choose a multiple select, then make sure apply to is set to all product types. And Dave, if we want this attribute to appear on the front end of our Magento website, so the part which the customer sees, we need to change two other settings, which are these ones down here, where it says visible on product view page on front end, you'll want that set to yes. And now depending upon the theme which you're using, you'll probably also want to set used in product listing to yes as well. Now, if you're in any doubt at all, set them both to yes. Really can't go wrong for that one. Now, scrolling back up to the top, on the left-hand side, click on Manage Label and Options. And this is where we're gonna add our label, Room, and we're then gonna add in the different options in here. So where it says Admin, we're gonna type in, well, I'm copy and pasting from the background. I'm gonna type in, or you would type in Room, or whatever you want the label of that attribute to come out as. And of course, if you're using maybe color, maybe you've got an item with multiple colors, for example, then that's where you would type the label and that's what the customer will see. Now to add some options to your products, 
or to this attribute is really straightforward. Just click on the add option button. And Dave, can you see that I can just keep clicking on these and just add them in? In fact, I'm gonna to add too many just to point out the delete option in a moment. <laughs> so we're gonna pop in kitchen, bathroom. Is living room all one word or is it separate? I would separate it, yeah. Bedroom, one word or two? One word, just to be awkward. There we go. Conservatory. And we're also going to add dining room as well for those Americans which are watching this. Mud room as well. That makes sense to you. What's a mud room? So we keep the mud? <laughs> well, it's no, you come in and it's the mud room. It's where you take your shoes off and ah, hang your, your kids come in. You hang up the school bags and things like that. Like a clock room sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Shed. Maybe an option, oh, and Dave's the good suggestion was man cave as well. Absolutely. And we'll be selecting that one in a moment. <laughs> now, maybe you did add one too many in there and you want to remove it, choose delete. Okay, just click the red button on the right hand side. Now, with those options added, click on save attribute. So that's step one, Dave. We've got this attribute available. The next step which we need to do is now add this attribute to one or more attribute sets within our Magento system so that when we're editing products, we can make the selections or selection from this multi-select box. Now it's really straightforward to do. If you go to catalog, attributes, and then manage attribute sets. Now a little note here, we're only gonna be doing this for the default attribute set. But if you have lots of attribute sets and you would like this attribute available on each of those, just copy what we're doing and rinse and repeat it for each of your attribute sets. So we're gonna click on to default. Now this page is broken into three sections. On the left hand side, you have the attribute set name. So if you're editing the default one, definitely do not rename that one. In the middle section, we have the groups. And on the right hand side, we have the unassigned attributes. And Dave, can you see we've got ATT underscore room? Yep. And there, that's our new attribute. Now, if I scroll down, can you see the label which says general? If I also scroll down, we've got another one called prices. We've got another folder called meta information, one called images, another one called design. And then we've got some eBay and Amazon ones, which we'll explain why in a few moments time. But do they look familiar to you? Yes, they look very familiar. Matt. They appear on the product pages, don't they? That's right. So when we're editing a product page in the admin, that's the tabs on the left hand side. Now, what we're going to be doing is adding it to a group called eBay IS Bags. Now, if you're wondering, oh, how did Matt and Dave get a group in here or this yellow folder called eBay IS Bags? If you click on the add new button at the top of the group section, you can add your own groups in there. And of course, you can rearrange the attributes which make sense to you and of course, your business as well. So let's go and add this attribute. So our multi-select attribute called ATT underscore room. I'm just gonna left click on that and I'm gonna drag and I'm gonna drop into our item specifics bags group. Okay, now if you dropped it into the wrong section, maybe up there by accident, don't worry. You can reorganize these by just left clicking and dragging and dropping into the right section. Once you've been and done that, press save attribute set in the top right hand corner. Now don't panic if that takes a few moments to save, that's perfectly normal. Now Dave, that's the setup. Let's go and have a look at this on a real product or on a product, because it's not real because we're using a bag. <laughs> but you can imagine this could very easily be an ornament, for example, or a light fixture, where you could use that light fixture in multiple rooms, for example. Yeah. So we're gonna go to catalog and manage products. Now, where's our test rucksack? There it is, down at the bottom. Now, a little note here is that our product page may look or probably completely looks very different to yours. But let me just make the point here is that you can use Magento to sell onto eBay, onto Amazon and also Rakuten as well. And as part of that, and again, this is covered in the tutorials over on Understanding E, where we show you how to set this up for free, I hasten to add, we have added a lot more attributes to this page, which makes sense to you as a business owner if you want to sell your products from Magento onto the marketplaces as well. Now with that said, on the left hand side, look, there you go, Dave, general, prices, meta information, images, and I think it was design we had on there as well, didn't we? 
Now we added that to the group called eBay IS Bags and oh look, there we go Dave, there's our multi-select <laughs> attribute. So to select one option, you just click on it. Okay, and you can see I can click on there. Now to select multiple options, hold down the control key and you'll see that I've been and picked up kitchen, man cave and shed. Or if you wanted to select all of the rooms, click on the top one, hold down the shift key and click on the bottom one and they're all selected. But in our case, we're going to just choose a couple, shared mudroom and man cave. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's giggling there. I enjoy the man cave. Yeah, it made me laugh as well. So once you've been and made your selections, press save at the top. So with that saved, let's jump across to our Magento website and have a look at that product. So let's scroll down and our tab, which is normally called attributes, we've been renamed that to item specifics. And again, we have a tutorial which will show you how to change any of the standard labels in Magento, either on YouTube in one of the Magento basic series or over at understandingy.com as well. So let's click on to item specifics. And Dave, we can use this bag in the room, <laughs> man cave, mud room and shed. Now, the other reason why I like this, the use of man cave and mud room is Dave, can you see that they're sorted alphabetically? Yes. M A, M U, and then shed. Okay, they're sorted alphabetically with commas between them. Now you can also use these attributes for lead navigation on your Magento website. And again, that goes us a whole different topic. But if you've ever wondered how Magento websites have maybe like these brand options on the left hand side here, Dave. That's to do with layered navigation and you can use the multi-select attribute or the drop-down type to power the layered navigation. And again, those tutorials are over on Understanding E and again, we'll show you how to do that step by step. Now, of course, if that attribute didn't appear on your product, don't panic. Number one, make sure you've picked up the right product. And again, that may sound really daft, but we've done a tutorial before where we were editing the wrong product. Yes, that did happen. <laughs> that did happen. So make sure you're on the right product. Okay, daft one. But the other two are really straightforward to do. So if we go back to our Magento admin area, the first thing which we're going to do, we're going to show you how to clear out your caches. And also, can you see at the top of here, Dave, it's saying that our indexes are out of date as well. Yep. Okay, we're going to show you how to re-index Magento too. So let's go to System, down to Cache Management. Now, the easiest way of doing this is clicking Select all on the left-hand side and then press Submit on the right-hand side. And the reason why we're showing you this is because you may have a full-page cache extension like we have, but in our case it's disabled, whereas in your case it might be enabled and you want to clear out the full-page cache. And by the way, if you've got no idea what full page cache is, nip across to understand the knee. And again, we've got a step-by-step -step tutorial which to show you how to speed up your website so it's ridiculously fast. And that's one of the tools which you can use. And that extension's a free one as well. Now, the other one was our index management. So you can either click on the link at the top to index management, but we're gonna show you the slightly longer route so you know where it is. So if you go to system, down to index management, now, Dave, we can see that we've got two indexes which are out of date or need to be re-indexed, okay? Now, if we're really lazy and we don't have that many products in Magento, we can just go and click Select All and Submit on the right-hand side. Now, anything more than, say, a 1,000 products in Magento, that's likely to time out, especially on non-Pacific Magento web hosts. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to click on the link which says Re-index Data next to the red one. Okay, now that will take a few moments to go through. And again, especially if you've got lots and lots of products in Magento, that will take a while. Now I'm gonna do the other one here as well. Now, if that times out for you or you get warning messages back, then it's probably about time where you consider getting this set up as a cron job for your Magento website, which won't suffer from a timeout. And we have tutorials on that over at Understanding E. So of course, if that was you and you weren't seeing that attribute on your product page, it back to the front end or the customer facing part of your Magento website, refresh the page, either press the reload button or right click and choose refresh, click on your attributes tab and then you should then see the attribute in there and of course we've chosen man cave, mud room and shed. Does that make sense Dave? Do you think you can do that? Yes, I think even I could manage that one. Happy days. So for myself Matt. And for me Dave. Cheerios.
So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.